training and inadequate presence of pilot training schools on the continent. However, Minister for Aviation Joseph Kofiada says Ghana will soon be hosting a pilot training school to help close the gap. Studies have shown that there's a shortfall of 500,000 pilots globally. And there's no pilot training school in the West Africa or Central Africa area. So we've set measures in place to make sure that we are able to set up a pilot training school in Ghana uh, in the shortest possible time. Uh, once that is set up, we can train more Ghanaians uh, from all levels, whether they are technical school, polytechnics, university, what have you. They go and learn how to fly. And once they, they're able to fly and get their licenses, they can support the Ghanaian airline that's going to be setting up very soon. And then the other commercial uh, uh, airlines that are operating in Ghana. Or they can go out of the country and serve other airlines globally and bring some money back home. The minister spoke after a meeting with Ghana's youngest female pilot, Audrey Swatson. With a commercial pilot's license at the age of 21, Madame Swatson says governments can do more to encourage more women to become pilots. Um, to encourage young women, it could start with aviation clubs across the country. That way, we would be learning something related to aviation, but it will come in a fun way. And then through that, we will develop our passion and an interest to go into the aviation industry. The government could also support us by offering um, aviation scholarships for women especially to pursue courses in the aviation sector. Meanwhile, Deputy Director for Safety Regulation also called for mentorship to get more women into aviation. There's room, there's space for women in aviation. There's that balance opportunity so long as you exert yourself. The training is available both locally and internationally. And so they, they should make that move and join us. And we would we would serve as mentors and then assist and guide them and put the desire that they need for them to enter any of the fields, either engineering, air traffic control. We have nine female air traffic controllers right now. We have two um, engineers right now and then there are so many pilots and other cabin um, specialists there are lots of females in the aviation but i think because it's still the minority compared to the majority of male we are still at the background but i think that um, with mentorship we're going to get